Welcome guys to the Computer Made Simple. Today I will talk about backups and more importantly how to do it yourself and little ways you can save money and customize it to fit your needs. So to explain first, a backup is making a copy of your data on your computer. A hard drive uh, from a desktop, so a regular hard drive from a computer, is basically a disk that is spinning really really fast and there's a reading head that goes around the disk and reads the data. This is a moving part so moving parts have a tendency to fail. Maybe some drives you've had have lasted a couple of years but these drives can fail and will fail. So a backup is copying important data on another medium whether it's another hard drive, a flash drive, just somewhere on the internet so that if it does fail, you have a copy. You're saying, uh, it won't fail, but then again, it could be either stolen or there could be a fire and it could be destroyed. Something also as simple as a static shock could destroy uh, all your information because this is a magnetic drive, so it does not play nice with electricity. All right, so a couple ways you could back up your data. The easiest, cheapest, and fastest way is to get a USB key. They go for a couple dollars. They range from 1 gig to 64 gigabytes of data. It uses the USB interface. It's very simple. You buy it, you open it, you put it into your computer, and the flash drive is already formatted, so you only have to travel to my computer. And your device is right here. You just have to open it. You could take anything you want. You drag it in, it gets copied. All you have to do is close it, take it out, and you've just made a copy. USB keys are very practical. If you have uh, files that are very important, you can just drag and drop them in the key. And for extra safety, you can keep them off-site, so that means not at home. And uh, for example, uh, in a safe deposit um, in a bank, make sure that your important information is not stolen. Uh, a USB flash drive will rarely fail, but it can happen. That means the data can become corrupt. It is not the safest way to store your data. Another way would be to burn a DVD or a CD, but sadly, they don't have much space, and once it's burnt, you have to reuse another CD if you want to store more information. So the easiest way nowadays is to store it on a hard drive. Now, what I personally uh, recommend and prefer is a hard drive solution. So this is a hard drive enclosure. What does that mean? It means you buy the enclosure itself, there's nothing in it. You have to buy the hard drive yourself. Um, you can buy some uh, external hard drives they're called that have already been installed. You cannot change what's inside. Very practical, very useful. They're already formatted. So you basically take it out of the box, plug it in into the computer and you're ready to go. Uh, a couple things. There's different type of interface. Here you can see you have eSATA. SATA is the interface we use inside the computer. So an external for the e, eSATA, external SATA, basically means that you could um, use this as the main hard drive for your computer. If you have the connection on the back of your PC, it would look just like this. You also have USB 2.0, which is the standard right now. USB 3.0 came out, it's a bit faster. The power adapter and the on off switch. So we'll take, we'll say for example that this is a pre bought hard drive that's already been formatted. Drive's already inside. It's a 500 gig drive. I just plug in my USB 2, a little wire here. Simply plug it in. We'd plug it in the power. Then you take the wire, I would plug it in the computer, turn it on, and the same thing as the flash would happen, I would see the drive under my computer, and I could just drag and drop what I want to copy. Alright, so let's say you need something that's a bit more convenient for you, the pre is not exactly to your needs, you need more space, you want it to be more convenient, Well, what you could do is you could buy a hard drive. So basically you buy a hard drive that fits the interface, so these are both serial ATA hard drives, SATA. As you can see, they have the same interface. So both of these drives would work in any of these enclosures. What's the difference? This is a 2.5 inch, made for laptops. 
This is a 3.5 inch, made for desktops. Bigger, faster, cheaper usually, slower, smaller, but more convenient. So all you have to do is buy the enclosure. When you get it, you open it up. I've already installed the hard drive in this one. You just follow the instructions, screw it in. Make sure it's in the serial ATA interface. Slide it back in. Screw it in. Power goes in. USB goes in. Plugs in the computer. And voila, you're all set to go. Since the hard drive in the enclosure is brand new, you will have to format it so it has a file system that the computer can read. Otherwise, the computer won't recognize the drive. To do so, you need to go on My Computer, right click, and go to Manage. Once it's open, just go to Disk Management. And then it shows you everything that is plugged into the computer. So right now, I only see disk zero, which is the hard drive in my computer. It has two partitions. So on the list here, I would see the other disk. I would simply right click on it and I would format it. Then it would ask me to sign it a letter. For example, the first drive on my, the first disk is the C disk. And then I've added another partition, which is called the D partition. So technically, it would follow along for the other letters. All right, let's say you need a lot of space and you switch hard drives oftenly. Well, another solution is called a hard drive dock, which I have right here. So basically, there's no screws required. It's just a dock. You see the interface at the bottom. Basically, you slide the drive in and you slide it up when you're done. So it fits both kinds, three and a half inch. I just have to slide it in. It's in, ready, power on, power off. When I'm done, pop it out, and I can switch swap hard drive. Now, this one also has external SATA and USB. Now, it's important to know, if you use the external SATA connection, your drive has to be on before the computer is turned on, because that is when the computer looks for serially attached disks. USB is hot pluggable. That means you can plug it in, plug it out. When the computer is on, it will find it. Serial ATA needs to be on when the computer is on. So if you're using this connection and you're switching drives, you need to turn off the computer. Serial ATA is a lot faster than USB, just so you know. So this is the dock. Very practical. This is what I personally use. And that's a little about backups. So to summarize, USB key. Very practical, very fast, very cheap, but small is not as reliable as a hard drive. Hard drives have a lot of space, they take a little longer. You can do a full backup of your hard drive, so an exact copy. So if ever it fails or it gets stolen, you have an exact copy to rely on. And that's it. I hope you guys learned a lot. Feel free to leave comments and subscribe. Thank you. Also, I forgot to mention, Please uh, see below in the description for a link to the article uh, related to this video. Thank you.